Okay, so um, now I want to draw the other boss uh, located above this one. So let me switch back to my construction layer. And uh, from this point, I'm going to draw a line upward, uh, straight up by 45, um, I'm sorry, uh, 48. So 48, enter. And then I want to draw a line to the left by 19. Okay. So at that point, now we can draw a uh, circle. Again, we're given a limit. And we'll, uh, like we did last time, we'll just draw it at the lower limit. And that's fine. So C, enter. And then I'll click on the end point of that line. D, enter 18.99. And I will do it again, this time with a diameter of 40. Okay, so I've drawn that boss now. And um, let's go over here to our, um, uh, maybe, maybe let's go ahead and use circle with a tan tan radius to create this arc here. Okay, so C, enter, T, enter, and I want to uh, be tangent to this arc, tangent to this line with a radius of 44. I can just use TR, enter, enter to trim that part of the circle that I don't want. Um, down at the bottom of the object below here, let's go ahead and, um, no, let's wait on that. Let's go ahead and create this pad over here. Now you can see that the center of the pad is located at the center of this boss. Okay, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there and I'm going to uh, create a circle on the construction layer with a um, radius of 60. Okay, Which you already know is the end point of this line the way I constructed my object. Okay, Because this circle here has a radius of 60. Um, so I just want to Go to my construction layer, draw a circle, and if you didn't draw yours exactly the same way as mine, you need to measure yours, but uh, it needs to have a radius of 60. Okay? And that will be the, the center line of the pad. Okay? Uh, and um, let me draw a 40 degree um, construction, a 40 degree angle construction line, and I want to do that also from the center of the boss. Okay, uh, We need to make sure our polar tracking angle is something that divides into 40. Right now mine is 15. So let me go to settings, change my increment angle to 10, and then I'll rotate this around to 40. Okay, And then I'll just click. I'm not worried about the length of the line. Okay, so at this point um, we can just um, use the offset command. I believe it might be the easiest way to do this part. Okay, so um, I want to offset this construction circle by 11 in each direction. So O enter, 11 enter. So I'll click the circle, click outside the circle, click the circle, click inside the circle. Okay, so that that's where our um, uh, uh, the center part of our pad will be. Now we need to work on the outside. Now the outside radius is 22. Um, so I can offset the outside circles by 11. So O, enter, 11, enter. Okay. So before I forget, and I don't want to get confused, let me go ahead and switch these four circles. Um, not the middle one. Not the middle one. Leave that one on the construction layer. But I'm going to switch these to the visible layer. Okay. Now, uh, the center of the pad, um, we can just uh, draw this part with circles, okay? And I'm going to use um, just a regular circle. Um, I'm going to specify the center point is here, and then at this these intersections. So I typed in INT and then enter, and then I'll click on the intersection. I'll do the same thing here. I'll go, I can go from quadrant to quadrant on this one, but INT if you just want to be sure. And now I need to do that again uh, for the outside part of the pad. So go to that intersection. And go to quadrant to quadrant on this one, or you can type in INT. 
<clears throat> it's just the way the object's construction constructed, which allows me to use the quadrants. Anyway, now I'm going to switch these to the visible layer. All right, and this is probably the tricky part about the the trimming here because this is a mess, and we need to go ahead and clean it up. So let me let me turn off my construction layer. I don't want to see it right now. Um, and it's telling me that that's my current layer. Do you really want to turn it off? And uh, let me just keep that layer on. I'll switch to the visible layer, and then let me turn off the construction layer. Okay. Uh, this will simplify the trimming a little bit. Okay, so. You have to be careful about this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type TR enter, just enter one time, and I'm going to click these outside circles here, okay, and then enter, and then I'm going to click the circles here to get rid of that portion, okay. Now I escaped, and I'm going to re-enter the trim command. So TR enter, I'm going to click that arc and then that arc, enter, and then we'll click the larger circles, okay, and now TR, enter, and let's see, well, what would be the smart thing to do next? Let me click these arcs, and then enter, and then I'll click that circle, that circle, almost done, TR, enter, and click that arc there, enter, click the arc, click the arc, escape, TR, enter, click that arc, enter, and click the arcs there to clean that up. Okay? So now we have uh, properly created the uh, the pad there. All right? So let's create this arc here. Again, we'll use Tantan radius, uh, option of the circle command. So C, enter, T, enter for the Tantan radius. Okay, I want to click the circle here, the arc here, with a radius of 16. TR, enter, enter to trim that circle there. Okay. And let's go ahead and work on this arc here. And I want to do this one. I'm not going to do this in the construction layer. I'm going to do this in the visible layer. So C, enter. And I want to, the center point of that circle. And I want to draw this with a radius of 35. Okay, so now um, you can see that the the line that runs from here to here is tangent to this arc, tangent to this circle. So we want to type L, enter, T-A-N, enter. I want to first click on this circle, and then T-A-N, enter, and click on this arc. Okay, and now it, it correctly creates the line in there. I can create this arc with the tantan radius circle again. So C, enter, T, enter. I want it to uh, click the circle here, arc here with a radius of 15. Okay. And then TR, enter, enter. And I want to click the arc there to get rid of that. Okay. So I escaped and TR, enter. Click the arc, click the line, enter, and then click the circle. Okay, so that is our, um, uh, our our gear arm that is created, um, and it is complete now. Um, I believe for this exercise we will not uh, worry about um, center lines, center marks, or uh, anything like that, uh, or dimensions. Okay, just worry about the the gear arm itself. But we do want to worry about um, centering this and the um, viewport. So I want to double click inside the viewport and find the object. If you have trouble locating it, just type Z enter, E enter after you have um, uh, activated your viewport. Okay, and you can see that it, it pulled the gear arm into the viewport for me. And it looks like a one-to-one -one scale will work good for this object. So I chose one-to-one -one, and now I want to select lock to lock the viewport. Okay, and at this point, you just want to go in and fill out the drawing title and scale and date and drawn by and use your initials for that. We don't know any of the, uh, the material. We're not given that uh, size. Drawing sheet 101 is fine. Okay, and uh, the drawing title name is Gear Arm. Okay, and I hope this video helped and this concludes this video.